The Getting Started Realising Your Board Potential is the first workshop in the Women on Boards Pathways to Directorship series. So we typically have between say 15 and 25 people, so small groups. We generally do it in a boardroom and what we try to do there is to create a sense of the environment that people will be stepping into when they're going to serve on boards or on committees. The key elements covered in Getting Started are some of the fundamentals of directorship, which is really an exercise in understanding what you don't know so that you can get further education and training. We then look at what a director really does, the stuff nobody tells you. We look at directorship opportunities, i.e. where could people really start to, to pitch now based on their current career level, the skills and experience that they bring, and also any board or proxy board experience that they've actually had. We then finish off looking at people's um, CVs and how they can start to pitch themselves through to the board and committee roles. Women on Boards has always maintained that Thinking about boards or committees earlier in your career is particularly beneficial for women for two reasons. The first is, is it can really be an adjunct to your career. Um, so rather than competition, it really can bring a different skill set because it gets you to think about things from a different perspective. The other thing is, is that if you have to step out for parental leave or you've got aging parents or you want to do further study and you're going to have sort of a significant time out of the workforce, much of the evidence shows that when you step back in, it's very difficult to often step back in at the same level or in fact progress as quickly as some of your male colleagues. So what this gives you is the opportunity to come back and say, well, you know, I've been serving on a couple of non-profit boards. We've done some really interesting business transformation. We've um, restructured the whole business. Um, I've looked at the governance. I've implemented a whole lot of uh, different regimes as a director on those boards. So if you can get a couple of board gigs under your belt, um, before you go on any significant leave, it, it just gives you something else to talk about when you might come back. Aside from that, many, many people really enjoy serving on government, non-profit and a whole host of other boards because of the fact that we all like to give back and everybody likes to give back to the community and to the society in which we all live.